What's up traders, your boy TJ, welcome back to the channel, hope everyone is having a good day. Today, another banner is dropping on the channel. Talk about the journey that I've taken with trading Forex, the beginning, how I actually got successful, what I actually did to become a full-time trader, how I got there, the process. You can put this into your trading plan and also take action on what I've got to say. Your boy's uploading one video every two days, about three videos a week. And also, I've got shorts dropping one every day. 2023 is our year. Without further ado, let's get into this video, baby. My biggest thing with trading was the live accounts. I tried to flip the accounts multiple times. Never gave risk management or risk reward any actual thought. There's probably a lot of people watching here who agree with me and did the same thing. After I couldn't risk manage, and I didn't actually know what risk reward is, never gave the Forex industry what I needed to do to become a full-time trader. Thankfully, I didn't go down the route of buying courses. I've never believed in buying someone's course. It makes no sense. The internet is the best thing in the world, which everything is online for free. I make content literally for free in my Telegram group, which you can join link in the description. Having the right mentor, and I was too naive, 18 years of age, just starting off, had a few grand in the bank, and I knew I wanted to get rich quick. School didn't go too well for me and full-time employment you know it wasn't too hard but i knew that i knew there was no risk. my downfall was over risking at the start blowing live accounts and then being broke most people watching this video have lost thousands trading forex just like me i had lost thousands at the start it wasn't until i stopped caring and took a break from trading then come back with a different mentality i actually become better this is something that a lot of people don't do is to take breaks and we're talking months break you don't have to trade every day you don't have to trade every week you definitely don't have to be putting on 20 30 trades in a month one trade a month is absolutely fine watch content something i never really did at the start i jumped in straight away with the money aspect of things depositing into the live account trying to flip it make insane amounts of money this is where i actually went wrong i skipped and took shortcuts and you can't take shortcuts with the process. You've got to enjoy the process. You have to learn. Don't do what I did. I was very naive and stupid. But most people are just like me. You know, we're human in the, the day. We make mistakes. The key thing is with making mistakes, you have to learn. So when I took breaks off, after hitting multiple losses, blowing my live accounts, and just not training properly, I didn't even know what a lot was. I didn't even know what partials was. I didn't know supply and demand zones. I didn't know, you know, break and retest. I just literally deposited into a live account thinking, okay, my money is safe here. My money's safe. It's just like a bank account. No one can steal it. I'm not going to overtrade, and this money's going to be safe and secure. Little did little TJ know that within that week, his bank account, which the money was safe, was then deposited into the broker account and then, you know, bish bash bomb, little TJ is now broke, filing for bankruptcy. So many people are like this with trading forex. I know I'm not the only guy. Comment down below right now if this happens to you. But I had this mentality at the start and it just, it just, it just doesn't work. So my key is obviously compounding the accounts but not rushing. As I said so many times, you, you need to have a side hustle, way to make money. Aside from Forex and aside from your 9 till 5, you need to have multiple jobs. This isn't going to be overnight. It's going to be, it's going to take a while, but you've got to build it up. It's compounding. The same as a live account. In five years' time, if I work my absolute arse off with multiple things, trading, online marketing, you know, editing, I can put on Fiverr. I'm going to edit people's videos. Guys, I didn't know how to edit at the start. I didn't know how to make content at the start. I didn't know how to trade, but now I do. Now you can make money from other items. Compounding live accounts was a big success for me. But it wasn't until I took time and effort out of my day and learned the industry and worked on myself as a person. I've learned so much within the last three years properly about myself. I've learned so much. Why I keep doing certain things. Why my mood, my mood switches when I have a bad day. How to prevent taking multiple losses in a day. How to, how to be self-disciplined mentally and not let small dopamine hits in my brain take over. 
And, they, and a lot of people struggle, everyone struggles with this. Everyone struggles with this. It's expected from us. It's, you know, it ain't our problem. It's just, it just goes on on what's up there. But in order to get rid of these bad habits, bad mistakes, and to progress in your training career, you need to take action on what goes wrong. If you don't take action and you're not self-disciplined, making the correct decisions, and when you do make wrong decisions, call yourself up on it. If you're not 100% straight with yourself, you're never getting anywhere, and that's just facts. And as much as it's hard to hear, what are we waiting for? What are you waiting for? You know, and that's how you gotta look at it. If I wanna become successful, I can't keep on over leveraging the accounts. I can't keep on entering multiple positions. I need to take control of this situation and actually make it happen. Too many people feel sorry for themselves, and I did at the start, which is why I took a break. But feeling sorry for yourself, and watching other people become successful is a no-go for me. You need to take action, take responsibility for your own mistakes, and be accountable of that. Then move forward. Just because you couldn't trade last month, just because you couldn't trade last year, doesn't mean you won't be able to. Never say never. Trading is easy, but you got to work on yourself, and a lot of people don't realise that. It's all to do with yourself, and you're learning on the job, which is costly. Costly mistakes are made. If you have the passion and you have the vision, then nothing can stop you. You're one step away from the goal. You can't give up. You gotta keep going. I hope you learned a lot about this. I just wanted to be completely honest. You know, what you see is what you get with my content. I've been smashing it out recently and I'm just trying to help as many of you as I can. As I said, it takes a long time to develop these skills with trading. It isn't easy, but just because I'm saying it isn't easy doesn't mean you can't do it. So don't have that mindset whilst you're watching this, but I can't, I keep failing. If you keep failing, switch up, become better. Stop making yourself fail. Because I know that everyone, everyone can trade. I know for a fact the markets are beatable. Even with a side hustle, if you traded and had something else on the side, you haven't got these billionaires, these millionaires with just one skill. You haven't, it doesn't make sense. You need multiple revenues, you need multiple skills. You've got to start, and today we start. Like and subscribe, I'll catch you in the next one. Appreciate you all for watching my content, honestly. The, the way that I feel right now with YouTube, the grind I am with Instagram and everything like that, I just appreciate it so much for all the support, watching my content, clicking on it. And yeah, I'm just trying to level myself up, trying to level my content up for you guys as well, and just better myself, learn more, and become the best trader and the best person I can be. Thank you for watching. It's been your boy TJ. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.